Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Hood News on the Hood on Live. Man, oh, man, we got another one today. As you can see from the photo, today's show is about the ex-Empire star. Goes by the name of, I don't know if that shit is Bryce Shear or Bryce Shire, but whatever it is, Gray has been accused of abusing his woman, you know, domestic violence. I'm going to go ahead and play the footage of him in the interrogation room. And when the video is over with, I'm going to come back and tell y'all what I think about this fuck shit. Y'all stay tuned. It'll take a five minutes. It ain't about all day, huh? Just get on top. Do your thing and take a shower. Do you guys have rough sex? Sometimes. Describe your version of rough. You want to really hear this? Yeah, it's kind of important. Alright, hitting it from the back. You know, um, that's really it. So, okay, so then you buried your phone after you came back and got it and you left, right? Yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. minutes, yeah, we yeah. Did, we, so you think they unburied it? <laughs> it's always moving around. Okay, and I then reburied it so yeah. that you could get it later. Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, but you take the phone. Take the phone. And you go bury it. Bury it. And you go to John's house. John's house. And you stay there for the rest of the night. The rest of the night. <laughs> and at some point, when the officers came to your house and they called that number, they talked to somebody on that phone. It wasn't you? It wasn't me. How is that possible? It wasn't me. They talked to somebody on that phone who was in your house. It wasn't me. But she's just so tender. She's so... Hey, so hold on. The detective said... No, my bad. This nigga said he buried his phone in the ground under the dirt. Then the detective said, but we called the phone. And nigga, you answered. <laughs> what kind of fuck shit is this? So tender head. She, she bruised easily. Even when we have sex, she bruised. So I know that she, if they got into a fight, it don't look cute. Where does she bruise when you have sex? As a man, I just gotta, I don't know what's next with this. Here's what I can tell you. I'll, I'll say this, and I don't know where my partner stands on this. I don't believe you. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> hey, he know he fucked. Within the first few seconds of conversation, the detective said, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I don't believe your lying ass. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling to report a uh, abusive situation. Okay, where at? Um, I'm not sure about my location right now. I'm not, I'm not sure if you could talk it. But my, what's that? Evil Creek Parkway behind the gas station. So what gas station? Circle K? Yes. Man, this boy got to hide behind a gas station. God damn. Yes, it's okay. What's going on? Well, my husband was beating me a lot, and he took me to the store, and I ran out, and uh, somebody helped me. So I'm calling now so the police will come get me. Okay. Did you get so they can get me. Okay, listen to me. Did you get physical with you? Yeah, very physical. My entire face is very physical. Punch me in the tummy, my back, my face. Where is he at now? Uh, he was at the at previous gas station. Is he inside the gas station? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. QT. But I ran away. So he's probably looking for me right now. Okay, you ran away from QT? Yeah, I ran away. Like, somebody was there and I asked them to help me and I got in the car. So I'm calling you all now. Okay, did you run away from QT or did you want to run away from Circle K? I ran away from QT and now I'm at Circle K. And you got a right physical case? Okay? Correct. Okay, do you need any medical attention? I'm not sure yet. Like, when you can you come, come, come get me, please? Yeah, we have officers on the way. So after he allegedly put hands on her, she took off from the QT or the CT shop and went to the Circle K. It sounds like she just jumped in the first car she can get in. Do you need medical attention? Do you need somebody to come check you out? Are you injured? Yes, please. Okay, and do you have injuries to your face? Yes, I do. Okay, and he's still at QT? I'm not sure. Is that the last place you saw them? Him? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And where in the Circle K are you? Um, in the box of the mini truck. What kind of truck are you in? Those kind of something to do? A triple A truck. 
Okay, do you know if your husband has any weapons with him? No, but he did pull a knife on me and I had to beg him. Oh shit, I stand corrected. My bad, that's not his girlfriend, that's his wife. Oh, he really fucked up. Oh, he did have a knife? He had a knife in the house. In the house? Mm -hmm. Do you know if he brought it with him? Oh, uh, no, he didn't bring it with him. I'm saying the cops right now. Okay, you see them? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, go ahead and talk to them, okay? Okay. Hey, y'all, uh, I hope y'all got y'all blunts roll, y'all sipping on something, because it's a long video, and it's full of fuck shit, so get ready. Long night. Yeah. I think he brought a water for you, what? Yeah. You put your mask on if you want to look here. <laughs> it's just so strange, you know? Yeah. Wearing masks these days is so strange. Yeah. And with me having a little baby at home, it's kind of... That's great. You know. So I don't want to hold you too long. I just want you to know exactly the situation. And... Oh, so. oh, my God. There you go. So, because we're in a police facility, like I mentioned to you before, and, and yeah. you know, you've seen television, when you're in yeah. these type of environments, I have to advise you, okay, right, before we get into it, to me answering your questions. So I'm going to go ahead and read it, all right, okay? Mm -hmm. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney, to assist you prior to and during questioning, to be with you during questioning if you so desire. If you can't afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed for you prior to questioning. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Um, just to update your your address, I notice you have a, a Illinois license. Yeah. So is that uh, you purchased at home? Or what's yeah. going? You, you did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a local license? No, it's uh, just a, just a Illinois license. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, make sure you update your your license to your current address, okay? Do you have any ID with this current address on you? No, sorry. No, not yet? No. How long have you been living there? Uh, probably six months. Okay. Uh -huh. State law here in Arizona, once you change your address, you have to update your address, I believe it's within 10 days, but I could look that up for you, or else you could be cited, or that, okay? Yeah. And one of the reasons why they do that, for example, if we're trying to get in touch with you, we're going to send the correspondence to the known address, right. and you right. no longer live there. Do you have family members living here? Or? No, they just moved. I actually got pulled over, and they never family. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, so again, um, do you know why you're here? Yes, so... Candace is my best friend. She lives with me. Uh, she goes through things, you know, some mental issues, emotional issues, and I look over her. Sometimes I, I say she can stay in the house. Sometimes she goes to her friend Laura's house that she stays in Phoenix. So she's been staying with me for a while. Um, she tried to commit suicide twice, and we have an open relationship as well. So, she, you know, I, I allow her to have, like, a, like a boyfriend because I'm really... Hey, first mistake, if he telling the truth, right, if she try to kill herself multiple times, bruh, you got too much to lose, homie. You got to get away from Cray Cray if you telling the truth, nigga. So, Mark, the guy that she I allow her to talk to because she allows me to talk to other girls, um, you know. I guess they got into an argument or whatever. I was at my friend's house playing football, and then I get a call that there's cops outside of my house, and I'm like, oh my, this is not going to work. Okay, so as y'all can see, that's that Hollywood shit. He said they got an open marriage. He can fuck with bitches, and she can fuck with niggas. Hey, yo, check this out. I'm as freaky as these motherfuckers come, but one thing I'm not going to do is share any bitch of mine with another nigga. Now check this out. I'll share with another broad in a minute. <laughs> but ain't no other dick other than mine going in mine, homie. But hey, that's that Hollywood shit. 
this this open relationship can't work then. It's a couple of days prior, she was trying to kill herself. You know, you know, a girl texts my phone and she's like, I thought you wasn't gonna text them with girls and blah, blah, blah. And I videotaped her, she had a, you know, sharp scissors and she was about to kill herself. And she had about two episodes this week. And I think, uh, you know, the first time she had the scissors, I had to grab the scissors from her. So she, you know, she had a bruise on her leg. That's all that, you know, from the situation when I took the scissors, that's all she had was a bruise. She might have bit her lip, her lip was busted, and that was it. So those, she had injuries for about, she had new old injuries for about like two to three days. Here you go, sir. So today she's been with Mark, and I've been with my friends. I don't know what they got into. When I got back, it was... Uh, okay, I'm trying to... I don't know what to I don't, I don't. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to understand because... Um, but you gave him a, a different bottle? Yeah. You didn't open this? No. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to understand the big picture here, and mm -hmm. like I said, I don't know who all are involved, you know, but you're mentioning some other folks. Yeah. You're mentioning Mark. Yeah. So let me see if I understand this. Yeah. Um, what's, what's, what's the um, young lady's name? Candice. Spell that? C-A-N-D-I-C. So let me see if I, I... And just to bring my partner to speak. Um, so... You're saying Candace is your friend? Best friend. Your best friend? Mm -hmm. um, are you married? Yeah, in a, in a, in a way. In a lawfully way. married? Like We didn't go down to, to the, uh, we didn't go down to how. We just got. Man, this nigga weird. So now she's not his wife. Man, I'm, I'm, this nigga gotta be on some drugs or something. Not just cause he look like he on drugs, but just listen to how stupid this nigga sound. I legally married in Miami. So you are, so you are married? Legally married, yeah. You're legally married. Okay. So it's your wife? Yeah. Okay. Like marriage. Well, not can't say that. We young. <laughs> you like, that's my girl. Right. Yeah. But you have a marriage certificate with her? Uh, I don't have it. You got one at some point? No. So, legally, you're not married? Maybe not. Okay. But okay. I, I it do. doesn't matter. I'm just okay. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. and we're we're just trying to understand the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So, um, but you mentioned that you both have an open relationship. Explain that. We have an open relationship. She allows me to talk to other girls. You know, it's girls that we want to talk to me. She say, you know, you can talk to them. And I say, okay. You meet somebody. If I trust them, and I meet them, you can talk to him. So she been talking to this guy named Mark. And I don't know what happened tonight, but I know a couple of days prior she had a bruise on her leg. She bit her lip because she was trying to kill herself. That I videotaped her on my phone. My phone's dead, but one of you guys got it. I, I uh, you know, I, I wanted to show you that. And then after yeah. that, uh, tonight was just I got calls from my friends. They cops outside your house. I thought about not coming to the house, but I was like, it's my house. Why? You know, so just, I just showed up and try to tell them what went on. So you guys already go through? Yeah. Okay. So you, um, so you're saying Mark was at the house? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mark lived in that area? I'm not sure. So she would know where Mark lives, is that right? She, she, she would, she would know, she would be able to tell us who Mark what would she, is. What would she, what, I, I don't know why, okay, I don't know why I'm here, so I'm saying like, what was she saying? What did she say to you guys? Well, I haven't spoken to her, and that's why I'm oh, trying okay. to talk to you. Did she, just, did she go to the hospital and say, uh, Brashear Gray, my husband, I don't think she did that, I think she went to the hospital. Well, the information that I have is somewhat limited, but I was told yeah. that she's your wife this, this, so that's what i'm trying to clarify this, this is what happened it, don't, it's like this is my t-shirt yeah but that's not my crime you know i think she she i don't want to get her in trouble because i don't want to get her deported she doesn't have a green card and that's my best friend so okay. whatever our relationship is wait oh no i didn't think it said he don't want to get her deported but then tell the police she don't have a green card this nigga a cold nigga. <laughs> I 
it's my fault why it even happened. So okay. that's kind of why, you know. But what she would say is she needs to get treatment. So whoever asked her that question, who did that to you, she, I don't know what she said. Okay. Um, but that guy doesn't have a phone. You know, he just shows up. You know, she, she hits him up on IG, Instagram. He comes over. That's it. The smart person. Smart person. Have you ever met Mark? I met him about twice. What does he look like? Brown skin. He like mixed, mixed with white a little bit. Black, more so black. Um, I've never met you before. You have never met me before. No, no, no. But never. one of the things I, I give credit never. to individuals who are honest. Yes, sir. You know, and I'm not trying to judge you in any way, but yeah. then it's if I had to make judgment of who you are, it's going to be based based on my interactions with you. Okay. Okay. Right. But I, I haven't ate either. So my body, my head connected to the body. Right. This is only one head. I'm trying to have a baby. There's a lot going on inter internally. So it's just, you know, okay. I know you're trying, to, you're trying to eat through it. You're sharking through. But I'm just letting you know what really happened. And, uh, you know, I have I, I, I have a career. I'm an artist. I have a lot of things to lose right. to be putting myself in situations like that. I would separate myself before we fight. We have plenty of arguments, you know, uh, verbal. And I talked to her mom on the phone. Her mom was saying, uh, you know, just talk to the cops. I was like, well, you know, George Floyd, and you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to go back to the house because what if they put a knee and arrest me? And, but it wasn't like that. Right. So her, well, mom, that's good. her mom was like, she loves you. Whatever she's going through, I just need to fix it, stop the arguments, and that's it. But I believe she... Whatever happened that night with Mark, she needed to get treatment. She didn't want to tell me. She didn't want to talk to me about it. She just went somewhere, and that, she's from Trinidad, so she really don't speak clear English. So you really don't understand her sometimes. So it's like, uh, she could say something, you'd be like, huh? Uh, hospital? Okay, hospital. Hey, so this sound like this nigga that went got him a 90-day fiance. <laughs> We take her to the hospital, mm -hmm. and then she's like, uh, who, who did this? Mm -hmm. Who did this? Somebody's screaming at her. Who did this? And, you know, I don't know what she said to because she doesn't want to get in trouble. So she feels like, I, I can save her. Just which so I, I understand. Which I can, which just, I will. Just so I understand. Which I, I know I, I missed some, so forgive me. No, you was here the whole time. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so this thing with Mark happened what night? To the last night. Last night, okay. And it, I'm to understand that you were involved in any incident, situation she got into last night. No, 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 no. She, we were all good. She cooked, let me tell you, she cooked uh, chicken, rice, and mashed potatoes. I ate twi two plates of that. Okay, what time was this ish? This was about 2 o'clock, 4, and then around 4, she like, let's have sex. So around what time? 4 o'clock. In the evening? Evening. She okay. like, you know, I'm in the pool. She's like, let's have sex. I'm like, okay. Let me, uh, Who else was at the let house? me get in the shower, blah, blah, blah. I got to take a poop. Okay. And we had sex. Went to my friend's house. Then she called Mark over. He didn't see something he liked. That's why I got that F1 Savannah cat in there. But he's still a kitten. And I don't know what happened. Okay. So I want to make sure I understand you. Because in your, in your mind, it's landing, it's making sense. I, I wasn't there, so I just want to make sure I'm clear. I don't want to misunderstand you. Right. So you guys... Around two or four, eight dinner, she wanted to have sex. Okay. Who else was at the house with you two? Just us two, maybe. But a friend popped in just to give me some CBD. Left, left right up. One of your friends or her friends? My friends. Okay, just like he showed up for a second and left? Yeah. What time was this ish? Right before I left, like 4.35. Okay. And then you left the house. Mm -hmm. You guys had sex. Mm -hmm. You left the house. Yeah. Um, and you went to a friend's house. Yeah. With, uh, um, did you walk to a friend's house? Drivers? I walked. I walked like to the park where the theater, the uh, school right there, around there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to disclose his location, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you were there with your friend. Did you guys go anywhere? Or did you stay at his house? I kind of just passed out at his house, and then once like five o'clock, my phone was dead. We would start working out. Five o'clock yesterday evening. Morning. Five o'clock this morning. Five o'clock this morning. Uh, my phone was dead, and I was just uh, what was I doing? We started playing football. 
Okay. Start playing catch, you know, running around and my phone turned on, they like, cops at your house, cops at your house. What happened? What happened? I'm like, oh Who was that from? Neighbors. Okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't call anybody, you guys, I didn't call my mom, nobody. Okay. I just handled it on my own and say, whatever whatever it is, I need to stop okay. the relationship like that. Okay, so you left around, I think you said it, probably around 4.30 or something from your house, where we were, mm -hmm. that same house, okay. 4.30 p.m. About 4.30 p.m., and you left your friend's house, and then you said you took your phone because you are getting text messages. How many phones do you have? Uh, one, and she has one, but she left that phone, I guess. Okay, so you took your phone. Is that the one that the officer, when you walked up to the house you had and, and that we have, you yeah, said? Yeah, Okay. where I had a video of her like this in the living room. She got a, uh, scissors. She's just like this. I'm like, don't do it. It's not that serious. We love each other. Okay. She dropped it once I had to tussle with her. But Okay. So I, I want to make, I want to clear the air so you understand. Um, we're not here to, to say what you did or didn't do. Um, our, our goal and our only goal is to find out what, what happened, whether that is you know, truthful from what you're telling us or truthful from what she's saying or Mark or whoever else. That's our goal is just to find out what happened, right? Right. Um, so we're going to do our best to line this out chronologically like then this then this then this and see kind of how the night went on um, but just like you I'm sure you hear something if it doesn't make sense in your head you're gonna say if it doesn't make sense in my head it's probably because it doesn't make sense right that's what I'm throwing up in the car because I'm like sure everybody throws up when they don't have clarity about what's going on it's just like what the heck okay um, yeah and that's all we're that's all we're gonna do and we're gonna do it with I heard that <clears throat> gangsta gangsta on TV threw up in a police car. <laughs> Niggas hear them cuffs to get the throwing up, man. You can't make this shit up. We're going to treat you with respect and everything, but we need to make sure everything works out. It lines up and makes sense. Otherwise, I, we can only assume yeah, right. that something's yeah that, that something's not making sense and somebody's not telling us the truth, right? I, I, well, I believe it. She's from Trinidad. So mm -hmm. anybody, if she's really beating... Anybody looking at that is like, because she's this is U.S. They gonna be like, what the he hell? He keeps saying what she from Trinidad. He's like, he trying to get that my bitch deported. With my boyfriend, I, I, she's hurt, you know. So she's trying to talk and she's trying to communicate. So you think she told us that you did all that to her? No, no. Okay. I don't know how it steered back to me. I don't know how, cause I don't believe that she would say that her mom. Okay. Obviously, she she said it, nigga. Okay. All right, so as Detective Hurtenstein was telling you that mm -hmm. we need to chronologically lay it out, meaning time-wise, make sure everything that makes sense, right? And well, her mom, is a. she seen the video. She didn't want the cops to know about it because she didn't want her daughter to get sent away. Okay. So I tried to keep that video away. I didn't call the cops. Okay. That happened like a couple days ago. Okay. I didn't call the cops on it because I didn't want her to go to a place. So, so let me ask you this. Um, you went to your friend's house. Mm -hmm. What's that friend's name again? John. John. Your your friend's house that lives in where does that person live in Australia next to the school? You said Australia. Yeah. His name is John. Yeah. Okay. And you were at John's house. You guys played football. Yeah. Right. And then someone called you and told you that police were at your house. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Who called you? Neighbors text just like text messages. And Do you have that name saved? Uh, Assuming this nigga got money, why the fuck he ain't got no lawyer? I got a number. Man, this nigga gotta be on drugs. Okay. And she was saying the cops are outside. Okay. Called her. She like a lot of cops outside. I think they going through the house. And that's what made me like, oh my god, I got a Savannah cat. If the Savannah cat run out the front door, I lost out on 15 k Right. So. You mentioned that while you were at your friend's house, you got mm -hmm. this call, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you also told us that you had a scuffle. Yes, a couple prior, a couple days prior to that, 
she we she tried to kill herself. Okay, but you said you tell me tell me about that. Yeah. So this she always she always as I said she has like mental issues like with girls texting me. We have an open relationship. Mm -hmm. A chick texts me on the phone. She might say yes. I want to give you that B. I want to give you that. She I might delete it and she still see it somehow. And then she starts, you know, I thought you would stop cheating on me. I'm like, babe, I didn't even respond. I just looked at it like I'm a man. I'm a, I'm, I'm able, I should be able to watch porn or I should be able to text a chick and not want to meet up with her. I'm a man. Let me be a man. Let me grow gracefully. So she was just really into it that day. Her heart I tried to grab it. She was almost about to stab herself because she's pregnant. I'm like, no, no, no. So I'm trying to tussle with her so we both don't get stabbed. And um, when was that tussle? That was about, uh, what's today's? Uh, Tuesday. The 13th, yeah. That okay. was Friday. Okay. Friday and Saturday she did that. And you have videos on your phone of that, you said? Or was I have a video of it on front, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was Friday. How was your guys' weekend? It was good. I mean, it was okay. You spent the weekend together? Yeah, yeah I, I, said didn't, I didn't like Every day trying to make sure we got a good connection. So you were home Saturday? I was home Saturday. Okay. I was yeah. home Friday, I was home Saturday. Uh, yesterday was Sunday. I don't know what kids are. These niggas are gonna marry bras that they let That's sleep with other niggas. That's yeah. some weird shit. And then you showed up what time at this house today? Today? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. You're not sure? My phone died, so I just was like, let me just, what time's it now? Probably 8.45 or so. I say we've been doing this deal for about since 6.37ish. So you have, eight. you have videos in your phone of her trying to hurt herself and you trying to stop her from hurting yeah. herself? Okay. Yes. Can we? Is it okay with you if we look at those videos? Uh, yes, I have to show you where it's at. I have to show, show you the video. Okay. Yeah, sir. Um, and that video was from Friday? Yes. You have no new recordings on there? I don't have, but that's her behavior. You you see it and you don't see any bruises on her. You see a beautiful girl that don't have any bruises on her. That's, you know, that's her behavior. Very recent. So well, that's not something for me to like, try to get her in a place or anything like that. Whatever happened with this guy. What's his name again? Mark. Whatever happened with this guy, she just went to the hospital. She needed the treatment. She don't have any insurance, she don't have any ID. She don't even have a green card. How do you know Mark came over to the house? Um, I had a feeling. I had a feeling she said, you know, she might, you know, have him come over. Okay. I might die. So I, I want to tell you what, what's going to happen on our side, what we're going to do. Because we have to, we can listen to everyone talk, but we have to confirm for ourselves. We have to take steps to make sure that we're getting truthful information. Yeah. Right? So well, I, I videotaped it to make sure you guys, if anything, that's why I videotaped it. And I was like, this is behavior not from a girl that I said I do. I need to videotape you what's going on in the world. I'm not going to call my mom. I'm not going to call my manager. Let me videotape it myself so I can show y'all her behavior. And then you'll see exactly in Okay. Video. And that's fair, and I'm not here to call you a liar. I, I, I get that. Yeah. Some of the things we do, we do a lot, right? We don't this usually takes takes time for us to, to do this, but one, cell phone information. Okay, so we, we have your cell phone, but one of the things we do is we go through where was this cell phone at this time? Where did it go from there? Mm -hmm. Right? Because cell phones nowadays you could see where they went. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So in that case, we should see your phone go from your house to your friend's yeah. house, pretty much there until whatever time this morning, back yeah. over to your house, right? All right, so listen to what the detective giving up, gang. Them cell phones is a motherfucker. As you can see, they traced the cell phone from tower to tower, which is location to location. So no matter what the fuck you say, they know where the fuck you was. Unless you can somehow pull the, you let somebody use your phone bullshit, but especially if you're a minority, you fuck. So the key to this is stay off, turn off, or don't even have a motherfucking cell phone. Uh, sure. Yeah, but this, we have two phones. 
the uh, second phone was left in the house. Well, I'm just talking about the phone you had. Oh, the phone I had, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, uh, even if it's dead? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But you were also getting text messages this morning from your neighbors, so. Yeah, but um, that phone just has the video. That's fine. That's not the phone. That's, that's fine. No, I'm just yeah. talking about seeing where it is, the location. Oh, no, no, yeah, that's Tracking phone. the location. Yeah, yeah, no, that phone is like, you know, it's kind of like a, to be honest, it's a, a cheap phone. So I didn't take that with me to John's house at all. Oh, which phone did you take? I kind of, I hide this phone under the mailbox, like under the like neighborhood. So you didn't take it to John's house? No, did you take it. any phone? No. How, how did you get text message from your neighbor while you're at John's house? Hey, this nigga is stupid. <laughs> this nigga said he didn't have no cell phone with him. He said he left it up under something. God damn. If it ain't the drugs, I don't know what the fuck it is. That nigga show get canceled and this nigga go crazy. She texts John. Listen to me. We can have a good conversation. Maybe there's an explanation no, for pain. Listen, a, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Just listen for just a moment. Just listen. You never said what phone it was. Okay, just listen. You just said text message. I'm I hear you. To your brain. Just, I know, no, no, I know, I know, I know. Just listen. I'm not disrespecting. Listen, listen, I know, and I won't disrespect you either. You might have a career, but we have a career too. I know. You're I know. good at what you do, whatever you do. I'm and we're artist. also capable. I'm okay. Artist. We're also listen. very capable of doing what we do too. Okay. I'm trying to have a baby. And, and and I I'm going to treat you with respect also. I, you've given me no reason to disrespect you, and I'm not going to. Yes, sir. But I I can tell you that yes. the truth will be known. It's not the first day we we the two of us have, have been here. I I'm telling you right now. I understand. That. I'm telling you. But I'm trying to have a baby, sir. Okay. This is I don't I don't think that way. Okay. I, don't, I don't process things. I process my food. I'm nice to my wife. I guess I don't understand what you mean. What I mean by that is that I don't live in that regular world space. You know what I mean? I, me and my wife, we pray together. We don't even use a phone. We hardly use a phone. I hardly talk to my that's, mom. That's fine. All I, all we've asked you so, okay. is, is what happened physically with physically. you. Physically. But you didn't say what phone I use or nothing. You saying, okay, we can use the phone. Yeah, I did. I said the phone that the yeah. officer has that you walked up to your house with in no, your that's, pocket. that's not the phone. That that's not the phone you No, have. sir. I have got texts from John. John, they text me because I don't like anything that's people texting. I feel like that's cancerous. What are we texting about? So well, I don't want to hear the reasoning. Right, right. What phone did you have at John's house? I didn't have a phone. You didn't I have left, a phone. I left that phone in the neighborhood. So what phone did you walk back to your house with when we when our officers back. contacted I you? I didn't walk back with a phone. You didn't have a phone with you? No. So where did that officer get that phone? I gave it to him once I, I received it. I, hi I hide the phone. Where? Um, I don't know which street that's on, but I hide the phone on the street, and I bury it because it's like, this nigga said he don't know what street it is, but he took his phone and he hit it and he buried the motherfucker. Is y'all listening to this bullshit? <laughs> like, it's energy. And I don't, I'm actually trying to escape from using that energy with other females. So why not take it to John's house and throw it in a room somewhere where you're not going to be around it? <laughs> no, why because, are you it? Cause I, need to be, I need to be focused on what me and John doing. Me and John playing football. Me and John, we working on our hearts. We working on our health. It's not for me to bring that energy to his house. Because I can. Okay, so if you don't want to bring the energy of the cell phone to your homie house, why would you bury it? Like, you buried it like, like under some dirt nigga that's retarded why don't you just turn the motherfucker off this nigga's a real life fucking weirdo can get you know we could get probably get into a you know an argument or you know he talking about his girl i'm talking about my girl we just dare to be friends and boys that's all so that's all But I understand what you're saying. I respect what you guys well, do. Well, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a per, and I appreciate that. And in a person's mind, in any person, uh, officer, anyone, an actor, uh, uh, artist. I'm done with acting. An artist. I apologize. Um, 
Anybody, anybody in the world, any reasonable person, if something in their head's not making sense, it does that doesn't make sense, that doesn't line up. Well, you just told me that. You just told me this. Okay, there's an explanation. Yeah, things just don't line up. I just wanted you. It to, just means it don't it don't line up, man. Well, I just really wanted you to know about our open relationship. I get it. I was not there, and that's not my business. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was not there from about you know. From 5.30, we have an open relationship. I'm able to talk to other girls. She's able to talk to other guys. And this guy... Uh, you hear this thing? This thing is said at 5.30, it's open relationship. So, before 5.30, everything is cool. But at 5.30, it's an open relationship. Mark came over. And, like I said, the phone was in the neighborhood. That's where it stays. Um... I went to John's house, came back. Uh, you know, when I came back, did I you didn't, call I didn't the come police straight. I didn't, I, I didn't come straight. No, I didn't come straight back home. I parlayed on my phone for a little bit, and then I came home, and then my phone died. I parlayed on the phone for a little bit, you know, to see if she called me or anything of that nature, and then. That was the phone that I videotaped her, so I had to take that back to the house because I said, I, can't, I cannot walk back to this house without no videotape. I could have went to Phoenix if I was trying to hide from you guys. I could have told John to take me to Phoenix. I had my lawyer send me. Why did you bring your, the phone with the videotape? Because it's my home. I don't like anything, and it's just this is my wife, you know? I don't like these type of situations. I feel like as men, if, you know, there's a problem in your household and you have nothing to hide from, then show up or run go to phoenix don't tell nobody you're in phoenix and send a video have your lawyer handle it lawyer he yeah, talking about lawyer nigga he's a lawyer right now damn idiot that's, that's all the phone was in the neighborhood so that's it with the phone i'm willing to and i i still want to and we're having a good conversation but yeah. but you're talking in circles man you're talking about things that don't make sense that don't add up what, the open relationship? No, no, no. I'm okay with that. I okay. mean, that's your business. Okay. You know, I wouldn't tell you that's okay or not okay. okay. I'm talking about, you know, you went Barry to... Barry the phone? You, well, that's one of the things. You went to John's... I, I know, but we already... You already told me you had your phone. Oh, all that shit was charged, charged, nigga. Charged. If you took your phone, how many phones you had? You told I'm me just cause, one phone. Yeah, because I'm looking at you, and I'm realizing that you're a person just like me. You know, well, convenient. So, yeah, yeah, after I told right. you we were gonna find the location of the phone. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm realizing. You gotta see what no, I'm, no, no, how I, I'm seeing. I, it. I know because I, I'm, I'm de I deal with different type of IQs and stuff like that. So when you ask me a question, I visualize that I did have a phone in hand to text my neighbor. My neighbor texts John. We're all in the same community, so I did have a phone. So when I look at you, I see a man. When you ask me, did you have a phone? I didn't get the chance to just breathe. I said yes, I okay. had a phone, but okay. I didn't. I should have told you that. Hey, hey. You know you, you fucked, know you up, fucked right? up, right? You know you, you know fucked, you up, fucked right? up, right? You had a phone? You, had a phone? you didn't have, you a, didn't phone. have a phone. Now you got, now a, you phone. got a phone. Uh, uh, now you don't now know, you what, know what, he what he mean. mean. You know you, you fucked, know up, you right? fucked up, right? <laughs> That's what I should have did. I should have just broke it up, but she was asking so many questions. Back to back, back to back, and I'm just trying to answer them right. So what I'm saying to you is... Okay, so let's start over. Okay. I know, I, I could feel you want to be honest. Are you a bit nervous at all right now? I you got could, asthma. You got asthma? That's a, okay. And I'm thinking, trying to process food. So, I'm process food as well. Yeah. Again, we're just trying to clarify the information here. Do you have a phone number for John? No. You don't have a phone number for John? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you can get it from your neighbor, right? Uh we're trying to we're trying to figure out the situation. You need to help us yeah. verify what you verify what you're telling. But your name John's, John's a motherfucking ghost. ghost. He, ain't he ain't got no got number. number. He ain't got he no ain't address. Got no address. <laughs> she, she does. She does. She does. So if we get that phone, you you will be able to um, get that number for us. Sure. John's I'll, number. I'll, right. Sure. Who does John live with? He lives with his parents. How old is John? He's about. He just 19. 19. Lives with his parents. You know the address? No. But Estrella. Around that area. Okay, so if I should show you a map on GPS from your house, you should be able to tell me exactly what house John lives in. 
Nah, it's dark. I don't know. I'm, I just started. moved out here. See, I'm from Chicago. When it, yeah, but you walked there, and you walked home. I did, I did walk, but you know the sun starts setting around like 5 or 6. How many times have you been to John's house? This nigga's an idiot. The second time. I don't even know this neighborhood like that. And when it gets dark, it starts to look different. As soon as the sun go down, it starts looking different to me. So you're not able to tell me, give me John's number. And I don't have his number. I just met him. You just, where, where did he meet John? I met him going to a CBD store, leaving out the CBD store. Um, he was like, yo, you should try this CBD. I was like, yeah, cool. He was like, yo, we playing football at the park at this time, if you want to come through. I said, oh, this is cool. I like friends like that, you know? So I met him at the park. We walked around his block to his house. I don't know where I was at, but. So th you met him, you only been to his house twice? Well, like twice. Twice you said, right? And today was, or yesterday was the second time. What's yeah. John's last name? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know him. You don't know, okay. yeah. Um, when was the first time you went to his house? How long ago was that? Uh, maybe like Monday. Like I just met him. When? It's Monday, it's like just me. A week ago? Yeah. Because today is Monday. Yeah, like a week ago. And today was the second time you went? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been back over there. What was the first experience like when you went to John's house last Monday? What did you guys do? Uh, we smoked some CBD, we had a beer. Some of the ASU kids came over to play football. We played football, we worked out. Um, and that was it, that was really it. Do you consider him what, you trust him? I don't trust him, he's kind of like, he said he was like a fan of what I do. I was like, you know, but like do you it. trust him? I don't trust him. No, you don't? I don't trust anybody. Okay. Yeah. But you went to his house and passed out? Yeah. Yeah, it's that, yeah definitely. Stop right there. Definitely. Stop definitely. right there. Hey. Hey. You heard what he, he said? He said, said stop, stop right, right there. there. He tired of this nigga lying. Hey, yo, hey, check yo, this check out. out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga this told nigga the told police. police. I was getting I was me some getting CBD. Some CBD. And he met a random nigga in the store. He said, he said you should try you this. Should try this is some good, some shit. good shit. This nigga, this nigga who's, who's supposed, supposed to be worth a million, million walks to a strange nigga's house, house, goes in, goes in there, there, gets high, don't, don't know where, where he, at. he at. So if he was so going to get robbed, beat, beat up, anything, anything. he wouldn't he even know where the fuck he was at. Either he on some hard shit or this some bullshit. This shit is this hilarious. Shit is hilarious. Can't, make Can't make this shit up. This shit up. Definitely. I felt comfortable, really. No, 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 no. You need to stop this, what you're doing, right? No. I, I've I, seen um, Detective talk to you, right? I felt I've seen talk to you, right? Sorry. And I'm just paying attention to you and I'm listening to your argument. I'm listening to your conversation. It's not an argument. I'm listening it's to your argument. information that you're providing to us. It's not an argument. Right? If I don't every time we try to verify. Health, health is health. Every I'm time we try to verify what you're trying, what you're telling us, you have. You've been changing the story every single That's time. That's life. You go to QT. Do you know who's going to be at that QT gas station? Do you know how many people are going to be that at that nigga QT? said he so changed the story. He said, said that's life. life. That's <laughs> a real life question. We're real life black people. We're black, right? We're, we're, one, we're African American. That's number one. So if he's African American, and he's is? positive, John is. Okay. So we're African American. Let's not forget that. So okay. Hey, man. Hey, fuck man, all fuck that all black, black shit right shit now, nigga. What's wrong with the cast? First, we, First got we got Jesse, Jesse Smollett. Smollett. This nigga this lying about getting, getting robbed, robbed and shit, shit allegedly, allegedly. My, my opinion. opinion. The nigga lying. He on that bullshit. bullshit. And now you now got, you this, got nigga this nigga who, who I, can't I can't stop, stop saying, saying supposed to be worth, worth millions. millions. Instead of him Instead being him quiet being and getting legal, legal counsel, this idiot is saying some of the dumbest shit I think I've ever seen in an interrogation video. This shit is crazy. Once we go into stores and we go to Walmart and we go to Target, we don't know who's going to attack us. Okay. We're just being positive civilians. Okay. Always. That's once you take that mask off and you go you go somewhere, baby RS for your daughter. You have to you have, you have to be focused. You don't know what your brain is doing. All you want to do is just be good at what you do. So I'm saying I didn't trust him, but I felt that you know his parents are there. They gave us food. I just passed out. I passed out, I knew, and I knew when I woke up, I'm like, she's gonna be mad at me. 
she's gonna be extremely mad. He don't trust him. So, but he passed out, out at the house. house. Wait, wait, wait. The cop, first thing is retarded. We're going, we're going. The cops, the cops what, about what? at your door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. About what do you mean? About, I want to make sure I understand your story. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to tell you your story. On, so, what's the first thing you did when you wake up? You know what time it was? About when you woke up? What do you mean? When you woke up at John's house. Oh, so when I woke what time up. Is it? Uh, I'm gonna uh, wake up. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? We wake up, look at John. He playing Fortnite, whatever he playing. He like, yo, you wanna go work out? Yeah, I'm like, come on then. What time was it? About. This nigga, bro, that ass nigga, nigga talking about he playing Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, you should already, already know. know. Rule, Rule number, number one, one if you ever in a situation, situation, shut the, shut fuck, the fuck up and lawyer the fuck up. Facts. Facts. Like around, you know, five in the morning, four okay. thirty. And we had a strella. We're playing football until like six or seven and he gets the text. He's saying the cops at your house. But they're tight they texting me through his phone. He's like, Your neighbors are texting me saying that they're cops at the house. I don't know none of the neighbors like that. They know I'm in the neighborhood. I just don't know them like that. And that's kind of what happened. That's all that happened. Okay. So when you woke up, you said you were kind of like, is she going to be mad? Yeah, I knew mean, because she's like, where was you at last night? Okay. I knew she's going to be like that. So I'm, okay. First, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, you know what? Let me just play football again a good vibe because then I could bring that back home. You know, we work out. You know, as men, man, we work out. We sweat. We look good. We take that back home to our woman. It don't matter what we did. We just, it's good after that. That's That was really it. That was really it. Okay. I don't have John's number, none of that. He would call me from a black number, because I don't have... So where'd you my, meet my John? My phone is where it's like, I don't allow people to call me. I turn it off. Where'd you it's meet John? 40. Where did you meet him? I just called Ford. I don't allow people to call. Got it. Where'd you meet John? CBD store. Where's that? Ish. CBD store is right there near Walmart. Hey, hey. Time, time out. Time out. Time, time to, fuck to fuck out. out. Hey, for, hey real. for real. This shit ain't fair. This this nigga, nigga is, is going through, some, going through some, some mental shit. shit. They should they not should be talking, be to, talking this to this nigga without a lawyer. lawyer. It got to be some kind of law for mental, mental people, people where, where they should they not should be not allowed, be to, allowed keep to keep talking, talking to, this. to this. This shit, this shit is, is stupid. Hey, drugs, drugs, mentally, mentally retarded, retarded, whatever you, whatever you want to call, call that shit, this boy need help. This should not count. This shit should be thrown the fuck out of court. I'm going to pray for this nigga. He fucked. It's like near Happy Cats and Vape. Tell me about the first time you met John. I walked out this door. He was walking in. He's like, yo, bro. He looked at me. He seen health. He seen happiness. He was like, yo, man, what's up? He's like, yo, you should try this. Hell. Hell. I think I had Candace in the car. And um, uh, he was like, you know what? You should come work out with us. That was it. And then where? what happened that day when you first met him uh nothing really and then i you know so you met him at the cbd store and then you yeah. guys parted ways we parted ways and we I, I linked up with him on monday i gave him my number um he you gave me your number yeah he called me from a block number he called you from a block number okay yeah, yeah. okay and what did he say he said yo we got to go play football we got to go do this we got to go do that i said all right cool he said all right cool i said let me eat some food first let me put some food in my stomach, let my head process. It's only one, it's on one head. It's only gonna process muscles and arms and legs. And that was on Monday? Do so much. Huh? That was on Monday? No, that was uh, about that weekend. I met him that weekend. Okay. We linked up Monday. Okay. And then... To what, the phone, what phone did he call? He called from... What phone did he call from? So he called from that phone. The that, phone you have? The burn phone that I buried. So I buried... I the phone that we have now. Yes, sir. Okay. So okay. I leave that phone in the area. I meet him at Estrella. I see him. We start playing. Okay. That's it. Okay. I come back. You know, it's a rhythm, you know. And then, you know, I look at the phone. I parlay with the phone. That phone dies. I'm like, damn, how am I going to show them the video? They ain't going to they ain't gonna take this. Well, you know, I, I guess you guys can charge it. And, and I'll show you. So it's still dead? It's dead. Once you let me charge it, I can show you the video. I can show well, you. I, I, I called her mom and said, do you want me to call the cops? This is supposed to be a wife. I say, I do too. She said, no. 
Yeah, put it on TMZ, I, huh? I don't have any problem believing you about this video, man, but, yeah. but we're not talking about the video. We're talking about last night. Yes. So you keep going back to this video. I believe you have a video. Oh, are you saying yeah. actions? You say yeah. actions. You yeah, say, you don't you're asking my brain about video. actions. Sure, okay. You don't trust the actions of what I've been doing. That's what you're asking me. And I'm saying to you, these are the places I've been. Okay. okay. That's all. That's fair. I appreciate yes, it. Sir. Sorry. Technical. When did you call her mom? Uh, that weekend. You know what I mean? Like, what is that, Friday? Okay. And I told her, you know, it's getting a little crazy, but we can work on it. And you know, first thing, first thing my manager said, yes. Yeah, last thing we need is the cops coming to the house and they putting you in arrest and stuff like that. So when she do things like that, it just make me be a better man to her. So we have good days. We've been having amazing, amazing days together. And this guy that I allow her to talk to, I maybe should not allow it. You know what I'm saying? I should just, I should have just been like, babe, I don't really have the full energy. I don't have the, because she has, she takes a lot of energy. She's beautiful. She's, you know, she's short. She takes a lot of energy to just to function. And I should have maybe said that to her. One of the things I need to do is I need to speak to this John person, right? So that's why I'm really trying to uh -oh. um, speak to this John person just to help you verify your own story. Does that make sense? It's going to be hard. How so? Because I don't know him like that. It's like me. See, See, he fucking he up, fuck and he up and he telling on himself. So now, so he's, now saying, he's saying, even though they had an open, open relationship, relationship, he knew about, he knew the, about nigga. the nigga. He allowed, he allowed her to allowed mess, to with, mess the with the nigga. The nigga. He don't want he her to mess with the mess nigga, with nigga no more. No more. <laughs> she invited she the invited nigga over, and that nigga snapped. Read between the lines. But we can't finish listening to this fuck shit, though. Meeting the girl at a club. It's worth a shot, though. Right? I mean, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big deal. You're getting accused bro, of something like that. But bro, I ain't been accused. She never said nothing that I, I guarantee you, she didn't say that. She did. She didn't say Brashear did that. She did not say that. The cops took the firefighters took her to the hospital, and. What do you mean? How do you know that? Because I know. Of course, I know. I know the law. The firefighters took her to the hospital. She said her husband. Somebody called. Somebody used that phone and called or something, and y'all use which phone? I don't know. Whatever phone that was, Mark probably was still at the house or something like that. He used because it's the phones are connected to each other. These are two phones connected to each other but different phone numbers. So who knows what Mark was doing in that house? You know what I'm saying? And after that, boom. I don't. I don't think she's. She went to the hospital and said that. I think she went to the hospital and said that. Uh, well, she told our detective the statements. I don't think that. Uh, no, I'm telling you. I mean, she's, she's, I'm not trying I, to convince I, I, you. I'm no, telling I, you that. I, I allow her to live with me. Okay. I doubt she said that. Just Bashir, can I call her Bashir, or you want me to say Mr. Gray? Mr. Gray, Bashir, are you comfortable Bashir, with? Bashir. Yeah, I'm comfortable with food. <laughs> so this so nigga this think, thing, think because she don't have a green card. card. And she lived with him. He ain't he told on his ass. ass. Well, obviously, he didn't hear the 911 call like we did, huh? Told you. This fuck's boy is fuck. But my name is Brashir. I, I, I can see what we can do. Do you have any allergies to food? You're allergic to anything that's going to hurt you? I don't know. No. Okay. But I'm yes, about trying to get you um, some food. Yeah. So, I'm going to go back to the John person in a second. All right. I don't know him like that. But I also want to understand, you said you blacked out or you passed out at John's house, right? When you say passed out, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no, go ahead. Do you mean like you were high or drunk and you passed out or like you were tired and you fell asleep, passed out? Because I say passed out. If tired, I... fell asleep, okay. work, working out. Okay. As you see, we've okay. been playing tackle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Um, do you smoke cigars? Cigarettes, what, what? that's CBD. That's it. Tell me about that. How do you how do you no. um, prepare it and how does it work? The CBD, uh, I roll it in papers, put a little CBD, smoke it. You know, you don't get high. You don't get high or nothing like that. But okay. it'll keep you somewhat, you know, kind of laid back. And now, for those that don't know. CBD, CBD is that, is fake, that weed fake weed shit. shit. That's that that's shit that, that people shit been going that crazy, crazy and even dying over. 
somehow you still you're able, still to, able sell to sell it. it. But, but yeah, that shit ain't good. good. He ain't the he first, first one crazy off some shit like that. that. <laughs> Allegedly. And you mentioned you wrote it in papers. Describe that paper to me. The papers is rolling papers. Just rolling papers? Yeah, like whiskey leaf or the, the clear white papers. Okay. And where do you get those? I get those from the same place I buy the CBD. So I think, like I said, that's where Walmart is. Okay. So right over there, like where Panda Express is over that side. Where else? Is that the only place you get them? It's close. It's about 10 minutes. And then, you know, gas, back and forth. No, I'm saying that's the only place you get them. That's the only place I would get them. Only place. That's the I, only place? Sir? I only go one place. That's the CBD store, or, or I take her to Walmart. You mentioned gas. Um, yeah. Where do you get gas at? I get gas. There's only one gas station. The QT. QT? Yes, sir. When was the last time you went to the QT? Last time I've been to the QT was um, around probably... Were you here yesterday? Tennis, yeah. Last like, night? Yeah. It's the only gas station close to Goodyear. Last night you were there about tennis? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So you, so you left mm -hmm. John's house mm -hmm. and went to the QT with what vehicle? Um, the vehicle, the, the rental, the Hemi rental. Okay, that, that one that was in the driveway when yes. we were there. Yes, okay. Sir. The Hemi okay. Rental. Yes, sir. Who was with you? Um, no one. No one. Okay. So initially, see, that's another part of the story I didn't hear about. Mm -hmm. So initially, you went to John's house last night at 4.30 or 5 or something like that. You walked there or you drove there? I drove. You drove there? Yes, sir. And you stayed there until you came back this morning? Yes, sir. But your vehicle was in the driveway before you got home? Yes. How did it get there? So you asking me how did the vehicle... So I'd left the vehicle there. I didn't go in the house. I didn't want to... Yeah. Wake her up. I went back to John's house. Okay. Instead of why didn't you just drive back to John's house? Because it's it's you know it's good to wake up, take a walk, force your, force yourself to challenge yourself to grow. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with. What that. time did you did you drive it back to the house? He said. Uh, I got gas, and probably drove it back to the house like right after I got gas. So okay. Probably 10, 20-ish, 30, 30 Okay, okay. But you weren't with her when you did that, when you went out to no the QT? No one was in the car. No one. I had the music blasting. I got in the car, got my got, got my stuff, got the gas, parked the car. That was it. So you got gas, you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, do you remember what pump? The gas pump? Do I remember what pump? Um... Gas pump could have been, but I used the car, so I didn't have to go into the cash register and say, pump five. It was, you know, this has been the first day with a lot of kids at this gas station. So oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, it was busy, so it would just threw me off. I will just get the gas, and that was it. Hopped in the car, and went back home, but then walked to John House. Because we, we saw that vehicle at the gas station, right? We did. Okay. And that's why See, I asked you. the truth. Who else was with you? No one. I had I got in the car and like I said, it was nobody. I didn't I didn't look back to check her. I just got in the car, turned the music up. You didn't look back to what? I didn't look to see if anybody was in the car or nothing like that. I could just, there have been could there have been somebody else in the car? I don't know. When you just uh, you know, like I said, when you just being, you know, doing things and just you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. When, when your wife, can I call her your wife? My girl. Your girl? Okay. okay. <laughs> Candace, when Candace is in the, when she rides in the car with you, where does yes. she ride? She normally rides right next to me, like on the passenger seat. Okay. Yeah. What was the last time was she in that car? Last time she was in that car, I took her to Ross. That was on Saturday. I took her to Ross. She wanted to, she begged me, I want to go to Ross. Uh, I need to get the cat some cat food and I need to get some litter. So that's what she did. She got the cat food, she got the litter, and she put it in the back seat. In the back seat? Yeah. Last night, 
Did you get? You did get gas. I did. How, so, do you have a credit card payment there last yeah, night? I do. For gas? I should. Once I got you guys charged the phone, I should be able to go to my Wells Fargo account. And well, we can get we can get that with your phone. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you used the credit card to pay for gas. Yes, I did. Okay. You filled the tank all the way. No, I, I normally put like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. I'm not working. Okay. So I'll be like fifteen dollars in the gas, and that should last for a couple of days. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. We're very familiar with that QT over there. Yeah. Can I ask another question? Yeah. Did you go in the store or did you pay at the pump? Uh, man, I stopped the car and I went right into the store and then. What'd you go in the out. store for? I went in the store to get two burritos um, and some backwoods. I don't smoke backwoods, but John do. Um, some backwood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you know he smoked backwood? <laughs> he said, get him some backwoods. I got him some backwood. When did he tell you that? He told me that. He called me blocked. Like I said, when you know. He called you again, blocked. Yeah, he always okay. called me blocked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you went in the store. Where did you pay for the gas? At the pump or in the store? At the pump. At the pump. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of things. Kids with dirt bikes. Kids with four wheelers. I was like, there's a lot of people outside. Yeah, it's today. busy. It's busy. Yeah. So you bought two transactions there. One for the uh -huh. food inside the store. Yeah. One, one, I walked in the store, then uh -huh. I came back, and then I put the gas there. Okay. I pumped the gas. Okay. What what kind of credit card? Like Visa, Mastercard? Is it a debit card or credit card? It's a temporary card. Temporary card. Yeah. Because my other card was chipped. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they sent you like a temporary one. Yes, they did. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Um, these Let me know days, if you need another water. I do, I do. Please. I'll get you water. All right. Um, these days, mm -hmm. um, you have, mm -hmm. like Detective Hertenstein was explaining to you, mm -hmm. technology. Yeah. With phones, you know, mm -hmm. GPS. Yes, sir. Surveillance videos. Yeah, so you should see me, you know, you know, uh, at the gas station. You should definitely, that's something I'm telling the truth. You should definitely see me get gas, and, but I'll let you talk. No, that's fine. Um, it's a dialogue, so I, I don't mind you, you uh, know, interjecting and saying what you need to say. Yeah. Um, but what if we tell you that we saw someone else get out of the car on surveillance video? On what surveillance video? At the QT. I'm back, y'all. I wouldn't, I would be like, that would be, that would be, fuck, fuck it. it, tonight's, tonight's show is sponsored by Grey, Grey Goose, Goose. <laughs> y'all go ahead and send me the send damn me check. check, Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and get a copy of that video. I don't have it here, obviously. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna try and get a copy of that video. Okay. And Mr. Gray, one of the things I'm trying to do, you know, um, like I said, is put the pieces, pieces together. Together. I respect you. And everything that you tell me, mm -hmm. it's my job to verify it. Help me. Very gotta take a shot listen to this, this fuck shit, huh? That you're providing to me, right? Yeah. It's my home. I allow her to stay there. No, hold on. Give me a second. Um, the information that I want to verify is where you were yesterday. You mentioned you were at John's house. Yes, sir. And but Stella like to play around for her too. Right. I need a phone number for John. I don't have a phone number. I need to know the neighbor who texted John. One of the neighbors on the block, definitely. Who did? Who specifically? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't okay. know all of them. They all see me when I moved in. They all see me. They all know about John. John came over to the house, you know, probably like once. You know what I'm saying? When was that? Uh, the first time I met him. He came to the house to see the pool one time, you know. Uh, one of the neighbors seen him. I don't know which house she was at, but she was jogging with her, with her daughter. And, oh, I know you. And that was it. And how did she get John's number? She had his number. She knew his parents. 
She knows John's parents. Yeah. Okay, so you know you know what house on the street she lived in? No. She was just walking. She wasn't too far down from my house. He was coming out. She's like, John? Like, yeah, you know, it's my boy, it's my buddy. And I guess when this when this scene, crime scene happened, she texted John because she knew I was with John. She just How did she know that? I don't know. She just like there's a lot of cops at Brashear's house. I looked at it and I, it's coming to me because it's my house. And I'm thinking, oh, it's a lot of cops at your house. It's coming to you? Yes, because it's my heart. So if it's saying somebody's saying there's a lot of cops at Brashear house, mm -hmm. it's not saying it to me. She don't know me like that. She knows John. Right. So did John get a text on his phone? He did. And did you get a text on your phone as well? I know that phone was just in the neighborhood. Right, right, but did you get a text on your phone as well? No, because I didn't have that phone. I didn't have a phone with me. But what do you mean? You say it's coming to you. What's right. coming to you? A heart. My heart. You only have one heart. So mm -hmm. if, if your wife texts you, she can be like, if somebody if something goes on with you, yeah. You know, your wife gets, you know, she's in she's in a traffic jam. She's like, you know, her phones die, and she texts you off another phone, babe. I'll be home soon. That comes to your heart, and you like, okay. Text back, you know who it is. You text back and say, okay, make sure you you safe. I love you. Blah blah blah. So when she, the neighbor texts John and said, there's cops outside of Rashir's house. I'm thinking that you know, I'm not thinking. I'm knowing that I have to do something about it because it's me. It's my house. It's cops outside of my house. Something happened. What did this guy Mark do? So I'm like, so what did you do when that happened? What did I do? Man, I thought of everything, you know, but one thing I... <coughs> Man, Man, enough, 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 enough for the enough fuck shit. I don't even want to listen, listen to the rest of this fuck shit. If y'all want to check it out, y'all can search for it on YouTube or on the web and you'll find it. It is what it is. This nigga lying. This nigga stupid. He obviously must be broke because he ain't got no lawyer. And the boy need help. <coughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. I do reply. Follow me on Instagram at the hood unlocked with the ED at the end. Until I get my original account back. Um, at Sensei um, Official. Now, without you, there's no me. You give me the bag. I'll give you the bag. Subscribe, share, and like. It's your boy, Sensei. This is the hood new on the hood unlocked. Peace.